Okay, so you'll tell us if we're doing something yeah, wrong. I'll, yeah, I'll end up signing off. Okay. And then you awesome. will be good and I'll be able to leave. Hi, I really think it's appalling that we live in a medical society where I really think it's appalling that we live in America and we can't make choices about the food that we're planning to eat. Especially good food. Fresh, wholesome food. Perfect food. Yes. And there's people starving in yes. America and all over the world. It's despicable with the feast that was prepared to have the order for not a valid reason uh -huh. for a certified chef to destroy all this food. Exactly. It's just an absolute shame. Not because we're here, but because it's good quality food that has no reason to be destroyed. It's all right for the USDA to let us all kill ourselves eating McDonald's, but this good wholesome stuff isn't all right. So, but that's such a such a terrible thing. We got to do something about it. What should we do? Well, just collaborate like what we're doing now support your local farmers and uh, supporting local is where uh, it's that's gonna enough. Start. it goes on and on look 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 here's the deal these are well-meaning liberals that's why they were chosen to set this precedent you do this at some backwoods barbecue you're gonna get in big trouble okay this is about the state running every level of your life and they're scared that people are waking up and they want to create a chilling effect over it unless you're a prince. Now, I've, I've read books about it, seen documentaries. I'm glad the crew, without me even pointing this out, found this for themselves. That I've seen PBS documentaries and others where the royal family, no matter where they go in the world, have their own organic food taken with them. And on their ancestral lands, which are thousands of square miles, they have whole villages that are basically in the 18th century, or 19th maximum, with organic food, organic meat, organic everything, and Prince Charles goes all around being part of this and promoting it. So the elites are all into this. So what's happening is the foodies are now catching on to this. And it scares the system to death. So we got a short clip of uh, Prince Charles in England going to an organic farm and praising him for all producing it right there and then delivering it uh, up to him. Uh, here it is. The Prince of Wales hosts a reception for the Garden Organic. A sunny garden at Highgrove played the setting for a garden organic reception hosted by the Prince of Wales today. The charity has promoted ways of growing organic food for over 20 years and has attracted a number of well-known food industry experts to its calls, including Michelin-starred chef Raymond Blanc. The Prince's own garden at Highgrove has been run on an organic basis for the last 20 years as is the nearby Duchy Home Farm. The gardens at Clarence House and Burkhall are managed in the same way. What's happening is the trendies and others are discovering what the rich elite are doing. So now they want to copy it and the system's saying, no, you're going to eat some McDonald's, you're going to eat some GMO. Now drink some fluoride and shut up and take your vaccine. Your cancer rate's tripling. The organics for the elite, not for you. Comprende?